Hey everybody, welcome back to Sky Lounge. Here to discuss some World Cup action. Day number 25, World Cup final. Oh my god, it's 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 over. I can't believe it's over. I'm gonna put this flag down soon, but congratulations to France who beat Croatia 4-2. And you know, also congratulations to Croatia for making it this far. Absolutely fantastic from Croatia. But let's talk about this match, get it out of the way, because I think Croatia started off really well. They played real hard. They were a, they were going at it in the first 10-15 minutes. And then what happens is France switched on. France switched on. Griezmann goes in for a dive in the 18th minute. And from a set piece, Mario Mandzukic scores an own goal. Fuck. So he gets an own goal. And thankfully his teammate Perisic, and 10 minutes later, off of a fucking set piece, nets an equalizer. So... Already, 28, 30 minutes into the match. 30 minutes already into the match, two goals conceded. Unreal scenes. Unreal scenes from both ends. No matter who you're cheering for, you're already thinking high scoring. High scoring. This is unbelievable. And right before the first half ends in the 38th minute, a player, a Croatian player inside the box, I think it was, I think it was Perisic. I want to say it was Perisic, but... Fucking blatant handball. VAR decision comes down to it. A penalty. Griezmann nets that shit in. No problem. No fucking problem. And so you come back in the second half. In the 59th minute. Pogba. Who. From. I think from middle of the field. Fucking. Lobs the ball. Way over to Mbappe. Who starts playing. You know. On the flank. Plays inside the box. And Pogba's able to. Just net a goal in. From outside the box. Absolute. Class goal. And. Just when you think it's over, six minutes later, Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe gets a goal in from outside the box, lasered in. And I want to talk, I want to take a few minute, a few moments just to talk about Kylian Mbappe and what I think he's going to be potentially. A 19-year-old kid just scored a fucking goal in, in the World Cup final. He scored, what, I believe four or five goals in total this tournament. He is the youngest player since Pele at, a seven, at the ripe age of 17 in 1958 to score in the fucking World Cup final. I think Kylian Mbappe, if he stays healthy, he might be coming up every fucking World Cup and being a danger man for France. And I, I really do stand by that. I think Kylian Mbappe is just going to be unbelievable. I think that kid's going to be a fucking all-star, like an absolute world-class superstar. And he's able to do it on the big stage. We'll see what happens if he's able to do it on club stages. He's already doing the PSG, so I, I honestly don't doubt it. And good God, again, 19 years old. Four goals in seven matches. So there's that. But just when you think France had control and it was over, France, more specifically Hugo Lloris, does the one fucking thing you shouldn't do as a goalkeeper. Take cute passes. Okay, so from the defensive third, you know, France is trying to just dribble the ball out. But what ends up happening is Hugo Lloris can't fucking pass. And Mario Mandzukic with his long, lanky-ass leg is able to fucking just tippy-touch. Tippy-touch that shit and gets a, nets a goal in there, no problem. So you're looking at Hugo Lloris and thinking, this team only conceded six goals in the entirety of the tournament, and yet you somehow, on that sixth goal, happen to concede the worst one? Really? Really? Fuck, man. But fortunately for Hugo Lloris, the rest of the last 20 minutes, Croatia tried to do something. I mean, you can see it in Modric, Rakitic, they look frustrated, but they were trying to do something, nothing able to get done. And so again, fortunately for Hugo Lloris, France is able to close out 20 minutes. Great defense, just great play on the counter. I mean, this entire, this entire match was France, the epitome of France. And that French football has been just the best in this tournament. Flat out. Flat out, they have been the best in the tournament. And deservedly so because, I mean, all these wins, all the ways they've been winning. And a special shout out to Kylian Mbappe who wins the Young Player of the Tournament Award. Uh, best player goes to Luka Modric. No questions asked. I haven't looked at the Golden Glove winner yet, but I would imagine it's either Akinfeyev or Hugo Lloris. More than likely, it's going to be Hugo Lloris. And the Golden Boot will more than likely go to Harry Kane, who scored six goals in this tournament because he scored fuck, a fucking hat-trick against Tunisia. Great. 
Tunisia, not Tunisia, Panama, but in my opinion, this specific match, I think Griezmann should be the match of the man of the match winner. I think the way Griezmann was able to finesse through, you know, Croatia's Croatian defense and just frustrate them from every side, I think fucking Griezmann deserves, deserves that man of the match. And another special shout out to Didier Deschamps, who becomes the third person, third ever person, to become a player and a coach to win the World Cup. Third ever person! That is insane! And so congratulations to Didier Deschamps, congratulations to France, Commiserations to Croatia, but good God, Croatia, you have put yourself on the map. You guys are a powerhouse. Massive shout out, and what a great tournament. I'm probably going to be doing a review video about the entire tournament either today or tomorrow. Let me know what you guys think. Comment, subscribe, all that shit, and until next time, fuck off.